<laughs> hey gang, welcome back to the video. Something different today, we're filming a release video for some new challenge tyres. Let's go! What's this big boy? This is a Specialized Terro X 6.0. It's a full suspension, full powered, fully sick e-bike Specialized, which Honor was borrowing to keep up with a bike packing trip, uh, get ahead of them and shoot photos. It is insane. Super helpful for me because I'm dealing with a lovely knee injury and have been for the past four weeks. It's like the ultimate off-road like cargo machine. Your like commute is across the Alps then like this is what you want. Which my commute isn't. But as a photographer, like this is amazing. Super comfortable. So you can have a heavy backpack or you can have all your camera gear on and it kind of, you don't really notice it at all because the suspension eats it all up. It's got mud guards. So if you've got cameras hanging off your back or hanging off all over you, they don't get sprayed with mud. Like one of the best things I've ever ridden. And I really, really want one one now. But we're using it today to film the new tyres for Challenge. So these are the tyres in question, they're the new Gravines. They are designed um, with a bit of a chunkier tread, think a bit of a like a Limus if you're used to cyclocross tyres. They've got lots of centre knobs and some really decent side knobs with kind of muddier or chunkier gravel races in mind where things can very quickly go from smooth gravel to something not quite so smooth. We're thinking maybe Dirty Reaver or Unbound. For us here in the UK, especially if you're riding gravel in the UK in winter, a tyre that can really handle mud is absolutely perfect. We've got them here in 700 by 40 in their pro casing. That's that cotton sidewall that we all know and love. Super supple, super fast, great for racing. They do also come in their XP casing, so that's just a little more puncture protection. If you are after something a little bit more durable. Your, uh, <laughs> your shoes look hilarious right now. You look like you're wearing little dance shoes. Honor's really rude about my shoes. Um, <laughs> Oh, I do a little dance. I'm not doing a little dance. We thought you'd give you a bit of like behind the scenes as to how we do film these sort of things. You've seen a couple of these out on our channel. We'll see what we get up to on more professional jobs. Stick around to the end and you'll see what comes out of it. <laughs> oh no, my stand's up. <laughs> this is day one. We're kind of out and about trying to get some initial shots and also scout where we think are going to be good locations. And then we'll come out again with a bit more of a committed plan, knowing what we want to do. Look at the mess you've made. day one here and then we're going to come back later on in the week uh, and get some more shots. So we'll see you then. Mm, I'm going to try to polish the turd that is her face. Here you go, like, get the hat. <laughs> and then pull that down. Very close. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped you. So, we're on day two now. We're off to the road. Oh, someone needs a lift. <laughs> so what are we shooting with today? <laughs> Bad hair. 15 to 35, we've also got our 70 to 200. We should cover nice wide shots or tight product, product centric shots. And we've just come to the first shot of the video maybe. It's this kind of roll off that goes down towards a nice view of, what is that? You go on through Epping and then you turn left and you're like, wow, you can see the whole world from here. Because it's predominantly a gravel tyre and we'll start not getting it muddy so that it's clean for the product shots. We'll start here on some gravel with a nice view. All right, ready to go. Do you want to start with a couple of photos? Because as soon as I start riding it, it's going to get grubby. <laughs> okay. Maybe the intro to the video done. 
First couple of seconds done. Now yep. we're gonna go get some chippies. <laughs> that was long though. We had to make sure we got it right because it's the opening shot. And then we'll go deeper in the forest with a gimbal and get some more fun shots. So we'll see how that goes. My plan for this is to jump on the Tero X with the gimbal and hopefully we can get some cool shots like alongside Anna while she's riding. We're yet to work out whether it is going to work and we're pinning all of our hopes on it but the gimbal and the camera is so heavy. It's really and heavy. Then, like, you're gonna, it's quite top heavy as well so it's gonna be awkward but as long as I keep it straight up it should be fine. Chibis! Woo! <laughs> so we're stopping to set up the gimbal got this spot here. Theo is going to ride along this section. I'm going to ride along that section over yonder. Uh, see how it looks with the gimbal on the bike. All right, let's try this. Filming. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. <laughs> Fifteen. Mm, there we go. That is f***ing heavy. <laughs> yeah, I think your arms need to be prioritised. Comfort and sustainability. Okay, that's better. Can you angle it slightly now? Right, I'm rolling. Let's roll for a bit. Oh god, I'm shaky. It's just too heavy like right that. Nope. We found some nice mud to show the mud. Mud capabilities of the tyres. I'll try and splish my way through this. Okay, Theo looks hilarious trying to navigate the puddles and the roots with the bike and the camera on a gimbal, so I'm DJing for a bit. Ready? I'm going to change the gear. I like this bit because I liked all the yellow. Very swampy though, it wasn't this swampy the other day. Send it down this time. Do you know what? I really want to send it, but I also can't get my I can't get like super muddy if I fall off, because then it's gonna ruin send the rest of the shots. A little send. A little send. Put the GoPro here so it can watch you. <laughs> fall off my bike. Yep. <laughs> Terrifying, which I imagine you could read in my body language, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> that was scary. I was so brave and strong. Down. Okay, time for some product shots. So, okay, if you stop moving the body, and I'll tell you when I'm moving. Can you roll it forward a little bit? I don't want to say this, but I think you should get like a wide shot of me in the bike as well, without the GoPro. We're going for a ride, guys. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> you got kicked. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's us done. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. I think we've got some good shots. We are absolutely filthy. We are. <laughs> I feel like it's a really good example of how really strong riders have it so much easier when it gets technical. Oh, yeah. Just turbo it. mode. <laughs> A cow. They love cows. Are you gonna no that one's got horns, mate. No no no, they're bulls. They're bulls. Abort! How would you rate the specialized Terra X plus gimbal combination? I think riding bikes and gimbals yeah. doesn't go. No. Doesn't work at all. If you are going to ride a bike and have a gimbal, 
It has to be on this bicycle. <laughs> so right up there. Yeah, if you want. Oh my god. <laughs> Nice turbo. 